take the jab. You know what I'm saying? We get out here and have a good pass or hit these bitches up during the summer, yada, yada, this, that, and the third, man. Hey, it's nothing but foolishness, man. That's why it's good to say, but this, but this, but the silence, the foolishness of it, man, man. And that's what we're doing, all right? This is Jeremiah 14 and 14. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination. A thing of not and a deceit of their heart, like the brother was saying. These false leaders, these so called teachers, that they, there was false teachers among us, but you know, Nate the Snake, I you became, you know, these false. There's a lot of false teachers among among the children of Israel today. They go by different names. There's a lot of false teachers in the in the world today. They go by different names. Let's get some more of this live lesson. Those cows, man, they, they preaching out the side of their neck, man. They preaching the cities. You know, uh, scaling up people abroad, leading them to their own demise, man. Like, like for example, what, what, what bothers me the most to where if you watch an IUIC video, right, they always target the older women. They always target them. They, they look down on those that don't know who they are. And then when they tell them that they're the children of Israel, they still give them vomit. Because when it comes to the Lord's name, they ask them out, what's the Lord's name? They say, uh, most high. Oh, that's the father. Or oh, they say most high, uh, uh, that C word. Because I'm not going to say that yeah. even name. That's a damn word. Or they say. Con, that's another thing. The most important name that's in the world today is the name of the Heavenly Father. And that's Yahweh Ba, Shem Yahweh Shah. Anybody that's teaching any other name other than that is teaching vomit. Point blank, period. You're teaching the J word, you're teaching the C word. You're teaching most high things like that. Not to, but you know. The, the, the name of the Lord is Jehovah by Shem Yahweh Shah. Then you going off. It's that simple. That name is in the world today. Let's get some more. Uh, JC, you know, but the, the father name is Yahweh Yahweh Shah. That is that's the first step to the doctrine by having the Lord, the father name and the son's name to, to, enter, to get into the doctrine, man. Because without those names, you cannot be able to understand the doctrine. Because that's a part of that's part of the picture, man. Most of has to introduce himself unto you. That's and, and that's playing the only and the, and the proper introduction is hi. My name is your name is, and that's how you introduce and, and that's how an introduction is, is born. So you, uh, for, for for these false prophets to say, oh, the Most High don't have a name or his name doesn't matter, uh, then uh, a person is never being properly introduced to the Most High. Right. 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 And that's really that's really as simple as it is. He he, he can have he has titles. You can call him by his title, but when it comes to salvation, when it comes to your soul and saving other. Con, that name Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is tied right into your salvation. Any other name will lead you into damnation and judgment of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. When that name comes up, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, that is the moment of truth for you to learn what the true name of the Lord is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh means He is, He exists. His only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah. It means he is the deliverer and he is the savior. In Paleo Hebrew. Paleo means ancient. And Hebrew is the name of is the, is the language. Lashwan Kodash. Is the language is the language of the prophets. Let's get some more of that. Well, it's the name. That's how you know that they stuck in their iniquity too, because what scripture says, let, let those that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity, man. So they're still stuck in their wickedness, all right? So, and also, hey, like scripture says, that's how you know the Lord is not in the midst of him, all right? And when two or three are gathered in the midst of my name, when they 300,000 deep out here, all right, hey, there I am in the midst of them. So guess what? The Lord is not in the midst of y'all. IUIC, Nate the Snake, who used to teach the name fully, man. All right? So, hey, man, the Lord is not in the midst of y'all. Why? Because now you're rejecting the Lord, all right? So, therefore, he's going to reject you. It's talked about in Hosea chapter 4 and 6, man. All right, uh, the bar. Oh, yeah, no, real quick, real quick. This is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. Good. And that's what they do and promise you liberty, but they service corruption, man. All right, you go on that taxonomy. All right, uh, uh, what it is? Uh, it it's plain and simple. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. 
by Shimra Kakwadash. If you're going by any other name, preach any other name, that's that that's damnation that you're teaching. And going off point blank period. Let's get some more of that. Yeah, uh, it, no, it, it's only Christianity. Now, uh, I should be upon the Islam, man. Right. So, hey, which is uh, the two biggest religions that's talked about in Scripture, man? All right, when he says you should worship wood and stone, man. Hey, which is the two biggest religions that our people worship, all right? All right. Uh, wood represent Christianity, stone represent the damn cobblestone that they over there doing, man. Uh, bowing down to, all right? And yet, you got these two right here disguised, all right, le leading you astray, still worshiping, man. All right, so with that being said, hey. Come on. The two biggest religions that uh, the children of Israel that's, that's going off is following is Christianity and Islam. What the Bible talks about wood and stone. That wood is Christianity, worshiping the cross. And that stone is, is all this damn Islamic Muslim shit. Worshiping that Kaaba stone. I pray that let's be edifying to the hopeful letting those seeking the truth. Shalom.